The HP cross screen, just like the HP slip screen, is something we like to use off of our running plays and off of some of our passing plays. And so we really like this play, especially for uh, to use it off of the halfback counter in combination with one another. Uh, so real quickly here, what we like to do with this is uh, the primary motion we're going to do is we're going to drag Bowles Beasley. And then we're going to bring DeMarco Murray out to the left side of the screen. When he gets out here, we're going to place him on that delay blue route. Um, I really like this play for that. And the timing works really well. So we're going to fade to the left side. And uh, sometimes he's not going to go out. I'm just going to be straight with you. Sometimes he's not. As you saw right there, he doesn't go out. If you want more consistency, you want him to go out every time, leave him on his route. And you see he's just going to go out. But he's not going to have the blocking, if you notice. You see he doesn't have the blocking, and so it's a little more difficult for him to get something going like that. Put him on that blue route, and in a perfect world, he'll go out there. Uh, like I said, he doesn't always do it. Uh, and so one thing you can do also, and there's a bunch of options. These are screens, guys. There's so many things you can do with this. The basic foundation for me is to place Cole Beasley on a drag and to mark Murray either on an in route and just let him drag across, or leave him on his route stock and hit him quick. Hit him quick out of the backfield, uh, let him go up. Uh, so it's just so many options. Um, like I said, this is primarily more of a man beating screen pass than a zone beating screen pass. Um, and so it's a little harder uh, to, to really give you the whole effect here because uh, we are facing primarily zone coverages. We will show you some man as well real quick. Um, the reason we like this against man more so than zone is because the complementary routes are all good against man. Uh, and so here you'll see the screen pass underneath to Murray or to Beasley is really good against man because Witten's going to get over there and block for you. Um, so that's kind of the basic foundation uh, if we want to use it like we've been using uh, in combination with our slip screen. Uh, now we have a slip screen that goes the opposite direction. Uh, one other thing let me show you real quickly is you could put Beasley on that little hitch route and you could bring Murray over, leave him on his route, and what you're going to see here is Beasley's going to sit, pass leave that down, and have a couple blockers. Um, one other thing as well that you can do, and this is uh, getting really fancy, but if you want to bring Beasley on a little zig route, place him on that zig route, pass lead down when he gets here, and then have some blockers as well there. But like I said, those are really fancy things you can do. Uh, not always beneficial, though. The next thing that we really like to do, this is kind of the more favored approach to this, is we're going to bring Cole Beasley in motion to the right side of the screen, and we're going to run this as if we're running the halfback counter or the Z spot. So we're going to place Cole Beasley on a hitch pattern. We're going to bring him over to the right side of the field. And what you're going to see is he's our snap read. At the snap, we're going to read, and if we can hit him, we're going to pass it down. I love hitch routes. I love hitch routes in this game, and I think that it's very effective uh, to use this hitch route. And you'll see I'll throw it and throw it and throw it against zone coverage. Now, man coverage is a little different story. Uh, when we see man coverage come out, uh, we don't always use this against man. And let me show you that one more time. We didn't quite see the, the full effect there. Let me give you it one more time. Cole Beasley against man, coming over here on a hitch, pass lead down. And you see, you can squeeze it in. Um, it's not always preferred. But in my opinion, the hitches are unbumpable patterns. Um, if they do press, let me just show you. If they're in man press and they press manually and they bring him in motion, let me let him, let me let him reset here to show you. Got press coverage on the outside, pass lay down quick, and you see it's an easy four yards. It's a very effective route, and it's very efficient, and it's very good, and I love it uh, to, to work off my running game. However, the next thing we want to do, we want to place DeMarco Murray on that end pattern, and now we're going to work the screen. We slide protect to the left to get the blockers out there a little better. We roll to the right, and we get DeMarco Murray coming on this side now, and now he's got yards, he's got room to run, uh, a lot better of an option for us. And that's against zone. Let me show you that against man real quick. It's not as good against man, uh, just being honest. It's better against zone, but here's man. Pass lead down, and like I said, you really need a sharper pass lead um, with this, this approach um, because of the fact you're trying to beat man and that backer's going to come, and you just have to really be, it's all timing, and if everything works right, you can really, this, can, this is a really good route, if everything works right, that's a big if, 
Uh, normally, this is something we look to against zone. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. If we leave it stock, if we leave his DeMarco Murray's screen route stock, notice what happens is he, he, he it's a little shovel pass. And, and I don't really like that. That's why I put him on the in route uh, to begin with. And then one other option, and I just want to give you some options with this play, is to put DeMarco Murray on a, a swing pattern to the left side of the field. And here we'll show it to you. He's on that swing pattern. It's going to be a little shovel pass to the outside. And in my opinion, this is a little bit more effective in terms of uh, situations where you need to get the ball out quick and you need to get the ball out safe. Now, this is a little bit more high risk, high reward type thing as well because uh, you may lose some yardage. They're not going to get out there to block him. And that's the, that's the part that is hard um, when dealing with this. If you block Witten back, um, it may be a little better. I haven't tried that. Um, and whoops, we, we called him out on the wrong route. I apologize for that. Um, but we'll see this here. Um, this screen, like I said, it's just it's another option uh, for us to use in our running game. Uh, and, and sometimes I even like to put Witten on that flat route to kind of suck them out there. And then let me roll to the right. Let me come back over here and try to get some room to maneuver in there. But overall, what I really, really think is best for this play is to use it like we're running the counter play. Bring Cole Beasley over, let him set up, and then all of a sudden, now we have that in route, not the, not the swing and not the stock screen route, but the in route, and let him run uh, for days on that. The only other thing that I want to show you is to drag Cole Beasley and to take DeMarco Murray and also place him on the in route. What you're going to see here is they're going to be coming over right at the same time. Cole Beasley is going to actually beat DeMarco Murray to the punch. And so what we want to do is leave him on his stock route. This is going to help us now with that delay. And so now we're good against man and zone because Cole Beasley's route is going to beat the man coverage because we have a little mesh play for him. And then DeMarco's route is going to beat zone. So here we see it. They're in man. We lob it to Cole Beasley. We need to pass lead that down. Unfortunately, we did not do that. And uh, that resulted in a loss of yardage. So let's show you this. And it's a hard play. It's a dicey play. It's a, it's a trinket play more than anything. It's something we like to throw in. And so we don't run it all the time. There's several ray, ways we do run it. And I just wanted to show you all of them. Um, but like I said, the main one we do use is that in route uh, to Murray. I think it's a more consistent. Pass lead down into the inside. And now we have some room. Uh, the blocking, in my opinion, is not as good on the, uh, the cross screen as it was on the slip screen. Um, but like I said, that's something that we... I mean, you, you can't really do anything about that. Here, we're going to give us some more space. And you see now, this is, this is kind of primary what we want to do with this. And, and, and in my opinion, this does a really good job. One of the things that um, you, know, you may consider in your process here with this play is if you want to get the ball to Cole Beasley or you want to get the ball to DeMarco Murray, who are you trying to hit? If you're really trying to hit DeMarco or uh, Cole Beasley, one thing you might consider is putting DeMarco Murray on an out pattern to make a mesh for Cole Beasley to let him cut off his player and get Cole Beasley the ball in space. A lot of options here, a lot of things you can do. One thing I really like to do as well against zone is to put uh, Cole Beasley on a flat pattern, DeMarco Murray on his cross screen and motion him to the left side, and then get him the ball in space. And now I have a lot more room to operate on the outside. So just several things you can do. I wanted to show you every single way I run it and let you pick which one you want to use the best. I'm going to put my preferred setup in the description and uh, show you how I primarily use this screen. Uh, but in my opinion, this is, this is kind of your, your counter uh, to your base. And um, this is the counter to the regular slip screen. And this is also a, a nice little thing you can do off of your running game. Um, and then you can mix it up as well sometimes if you, you think you're, you know, they're in zone and you really want to kind of work this screen, bring Beasley over, snap him, let him get that extra block, give you that extra time, and hopefully get the ball out of your hands. That time Brandon McBain made a great play. Well, let's see if we can show you it one more time here. There he gets the block for us, and then we just have to get somebody out there on that guy. But a really good play all around, uh, in my opinion. And I use it seldom. I don't use it a lot. Uh, it's something I use, uh, you know, like I said, kind of seldomly. But when I do use it, I typically get big gains. Um, and depending on which version I use, like I said, what you're seeing here is I'm going to put Williams on a flat motion Beasley into the A-gap and snap it here where that guard's going to pull out. And I'm going to pass lead the screen up. And then I'm going to try to get more blocking. 
get DeMarco Murray one-on-one -on -one with a safety or a corner and try to make big plays. So a lot of dis discussion about this play, but I'll give you the preferred setup in the description. Thanks for watching so far.